Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I've got some really important information to share with you about roofs that are 15 years old and older. So I know I've been talking about this topic for a while now. I've been talking about hail damage and storm chasers and insurance claims and how jacked up our whole system is. But I was talking recently with my insurance guy, Tim Mulgren, and we were discussing the difference between replacement costs and actual cash value. And I, I touched on this at the, the end of my last video on this topic, but here's, here's the way it works. If you have replacement costs for your homeowner's insurance, it means that if you've got an old, dilapidated, broken down, busted up 21-year-old roof, and you get a hailstorm that comes through, your insurance company will replace your entire roof. That's what we call winning a new roof. A good, good example my insurance guy gave is you're driving a 1999 Ford F-150 and you get in a crash and you total your truck. Well, if you had replacement costs, then you'd go to your insurance company, you'd file a claim, and they would buy you a brand new 2020 Ford F-150. It's crazy, right? Well, that's what we have for replacement costs for roofs, for homeowners insurance. It's the same thing. So what, what insurance companies are moving toward is giving you actual cash value. And they're, they're sending out notices to people who have roofs that are 15 years old and older saying you are now only eligible for an actual cash value replacement for your roof, which basically means you're getting a prorated settlement. And it's not tough to understand. It's what you would get if you totaled an old car. You're gonna get what the car is actually worth. You're not gonna get a brand new car. So it, to me, it only makes sense. I'm glad we're doing this. Um, I'm not giving any value judgments. I'm just sharing my opinion on that. But what's, what's really interesting here is that lenders don't like this at all. And it means that if you're buying a home that has a roof that's at least 15 years old, and this is a known thing, your, your lender doesn't care. Your lender is going to require that you have replacement cost on your homeowner's insurance. They want their assets protected. So what are you supposed to do? Because the lender requires replacement costs. The insurance carrier is probably going to say, we're going to give you actual cash value. And now you're kind of stuck in the middle. Well, the solution there is you need to search out insurance carriers. You need to look for one who's going to give you the actual replacement cost. And you're going to need to do some shopping around and you should be prepared to pay through the nose for this. It costs a lot more money as it should. All right. And then the last thing a lot of people will ask us, what's the age of the roof? How do we determine the age of the roof? Is there some type of carbon dating you can do on the roof to determine the age? Or should we call a roofer and have them figure it out? Nobody can tell you that for certain. There is no reliable method for determining the exact age of a roof. I can tell you I'm very good at it, but I've been burned on some occasions. I mean, I'll, I'll get on roofs and I'll, I'll look around and I'll say to myself, yeah, this looks fantastic. This roof can't be more than, you know, five, 10 years old. Turns out it's 20 years old. I used to live in a home with a roof like that. I have no idea why. The roof is 22 years old today and it still looks like it's in really good condition. So you, you can't know for certain. I will tell you this, I'll share this. My little trick, I, I got this from one of the old Crocodile Dundee movies, was I, I would pull up the permit history for a home and I'd determine exactly how old the roof is and then I'd get on the roof and People would ask me, how old is it? And I'd, I'd say, you know, it looks like somewhere around eight and a half years or so. And then later on, we'd look at the documents and then it'd show it's eight and a half years old. And my clients would look at me like, you know, I'm the most amazing roof inspector in the world. And I, I'd always let them on. I'd say, yeah, I, I looked up the history. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, but uh, as far as other, other, other tricks to figure out the age of the roof, it's, it's kind of common sense stuff. It's a matter of ask the seller, ask them to dig up records. Find, even if the seller doesn't know, ask them who replaced it last. Maybe go to that roofer and ask them if they have records. Ask for 
the permit history or get the permit history. Now at our company, we, many years ago, we started sending out build facts reports. It's a, it's a permit history for a, a home. We started including that with our home inspections. Now they're not available for every property and if they're not available, they, we just, we've got nothing to send. But most properties have those and most of the ones that do have a permit pulled for the roof replacement. So that's, that's some helpful information and those are available online. Anybody can just buy those. So that's, that's a good way to help determine the age of the roof. All right, uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.